your Feel Good Breakfast show. Happy Friday. I'm glad you stayed right there because it was worth it. We have a super talent on the couch. I mean, he may be one man, but he has many voices. This sounds like a movie trailer. And he uses them all to excellent effect. And to the country's delight, his name is Conrad Koch. And he's back entertaining audiences with his comic, wit, political intellect, ventriloquism, and many more talents that we don't know about until we interview him on this couch. His show, Rama Puppet, <laughs> will be one that you have to go and see. And now I'm done because I need water now. <laughs> yes, that's a bit uh, yeah, yeah. So I probably need some water now, but he's our special guest. So please give him a huge round of applause. Let's go, let go! That's right. Good morning, brother. Hey, guys. How you doing? So great to be here. Yeah, yeah man. Excited. It's been a while excited. since we had a, a conversation with you and had you in the show. Yeah. I think the last time was during the lockdown, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there may be something during lockdown because it's been wild for yeah. live entertainment, you know. It yeah. was illegal to do your job. <laughs> Crazy times, but you're here now. What was it like, though, before we get into the magic that you brought for us today? How did you survive that period? Uh, did you get an opportunity to create more characters? Was it a creative time or was it just, let me escape the madness? Well, you know, with so much time having spent on TV, with just interviewing politicians yes. on TV, yeah. uh, it, it actually translated really easily. So we created like a virtual studio with switches and different cameras and Chester started gate crashing Zoom meetings. And then we did live, <laughs> you know, and then he'd be there tuning rubbish to the CEO. Hey, what's going on? Uh, you should get fired. And then. <laughs> get kicked out of the Zoom meeting, but it was wild, it was really fun. We did Zuma jokes on Zoom. Nice. <laughs> Zuma jokes, that's, that's a show on its own. I would watch that over and over again. And, but you know, this is actually what I wanted to say about Drama Puppet is that, you know, this is a show that is filled with satire. And I was, I was about to ask you about the material and, and kind of like how you develop it. But then I realized that, you know, we have so much equipment <laughs> he lives on a in South comic level. I mean, we've, we've done, we've done strange things. Fires have happened at places. Uh, <laughs> we burnt down a wing of state, guys. You understand what I'm saying? Other like people a, have a bonfire. Yeah, Parliament. <laughs> so you know, that's the thing about a comedian is like looking at these things, and you know, they are news headlines. But then you have to find the humor in that, and that's a virtue to find humor in something that a lot of people look at and say, "Oh my word, we're going down. What's happening? It's crazy." So is that how the development happens for Rama Puppet? Well. Thanks for asking, Carl. In this show, a lot of my other shows have been hard satire. Like, yes. yeah, I'm gonna take down, speak truth to power. This one's a fun one because I think South Africans have such a stressful time. We had yeah. looting, lockdown. Yes. I mean, it's been pandemonium. Even the Minister of Health was kicked out for corruption. So it's been crazy. And so this is really less hard satire and more just fun and laughing. I mean, they took a whole macro. Like, the whole macro was gone. <laughs> <laughs> Everything must go. It was literal. So uh, it's more about a chance for South Africans yeah. to laugh. And the, so they, the new characters are more uh, quirky and fun. Like, I've got cool. a new character. my Afrikaans teacher from high school. Remember when you had to learn the trapa fun fair? Yes. <laughs> so all that. So it's more about a shared laughter experience that I've toured around South Africa. And now, luckily enough, I'm able to bring it back to theatres, bigger theatres, a theatre in the Bay uh, next week in Cape Town and Johannesburg at uh, Monte Cassino. And because it's just about it's made that everyone, I've got an internet troll called Ronnie, he's like, yeah, like, Ronnie, you must uh, remember what you must always do, always, always delete my search history, you okay. know, that kind of <laughs> silliness and pandemonium. So it's all about creating an opportunity for people to have a laugh. South Africans have had a rough time, yeah. guys. You yeah. know, people were broke, they were unemployed, and that's just the people in my suitcase. <laughs> people, aren't you intrigued about the suitcase? I though, am, man, and that's what I want to find out from, because I know there's Who's there? Them. Should we take someone out? Yeah, let's, let's have yeah. Who, who have you got for us? Is anyone it's quite new early for puppets. Parliament hasn't started yet. Hang on. <laughs> this is Mr. Dixon, my high school Mr. Afrikaans teacher. Right. Okay, we are we now? Hello, Mr. Dixon. <laughs> my goodness, we. Hello. Oh, who's I that feel, young man? I That's, feel like I, I need hello, to. Hello, hello. Uh, Morda, sir. Hello, yeah, yes, sir. Very really good. Very really nice to meet <laughs> you guys. Hey, Carl gets shorter and shorter every time I see him. Bye, Uncle Minya. I love him. Such a nice young man, hey? <laughs> And his hair is very well behaved. You can't do that with my hair, no. <laughs> How much L'Oreal did he use? I don't know. All of this. No, <laughs> <laughs> I actually pretty much I have to replenish quite often. So, uh, but it's great Mr. to have Mr. Mr. Dixon, Dixon can I actually ask you a question, man? Like, it's the first time I'm seeing you, all right? Uh, I understand. Oh. I live in a suitcase. This is my question. <laughs> What's it, what is it like being in the suitcase? Well, have you ever gone and stayed in a flat in Cape Town CBD? <laughs> It's, a it's like that. 
the rentals are a bit lower though. <laughs> and you just don't have windows. No, no, oh, you have obviously never gone to Cape Town. And if you're in the city, well, the windows cost extra. <laughs> At least you get to climb lines in though, isn't that always the pro? Yeah, well, I get going at that tack because. <laughs> And I thought that my legs don't work. This is true, this is true. Uh, Mr. Dixon, how do you respond to Conrad coming up with new characters and filling the, the suitcase that is already full because I see that uh, Chester's in there as well. Yeah, it's getting cramped. Chester's very routine, very naughty young man, hey? I told him now he must go cuck a luck himself. <laughs> So Chester, I'm, I'm of the opinion that you should be the last character. I mean, you, you, you clearly are the best, right? You don't need I more. am. A lot of the times, young man, they don't always get my jokes. You know, I tell jokes and then they don't get like, watch this. Okay, listen. Okay, yeah, please yeah. tell us why. Okay, here's a joke. Okay, yeah. you guys at home listening, all right? This is your joke. Yeah, listen. Okay, a guy goes into a bank, okay? A yeah. bank with a glue gun, okay? Carl, it's a glue gun. Glue gun. Yeah, he sticks a glue gun in the air and he says, Hands up, this is a sticker. Okay, neither of you got the joke. Let's start, Let's start slowly, okay? You know what a man is, Carl? Yes. A man, look yes. next to you. That's yes. a man. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah. You are a smaller man, that you're still a man. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Now, you know what a glue gun is? Yes. It's like a normal gun with glue. Now, he puts it in the air. Now, you wondering what's it sticking to? That's not in the joke. Oh, so, okay. Not, okay, yeah, yeah. No, and then he says, it's a... Oh, that's you guys. <sighs> the exams are almost yeah, Carl. You have to understand the jokes now. <laughs> you look like you're still waiting for the joke to start. I was, I was ready. This... <laughs> Yo. Is he on radio? Yes, I don't Is know he... how that <laughs> He's interviewing us. I Ooh. don't care, really. Come on, guy. Can Graham do this? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dixon, <laughs> Conrad, maybe even Chester later on your Feel Good Ooh. Breakfast show, but Rama Puppet coming to a theatre near you. You're going to go need to see it. I can tell you that it will be um, in Johannesburg, Peter Turin's Monte Cassino. That'll be in Joburg, uh, Wednesday 16 to Sunday 20th of February. Uh, tickets start at uh, 135, which is very, very simple. That's basically Mr. Dixon's salary. Yeah. And then, of course, Compute Ticket. Yeah. Dot com is where you get all the details as well as tickets. So stick with us for Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's my Feel Good Breakfast Show. Yes, Samzanzi, welcome back to Fry Yay, and we're giving you every reason to celebrate right now. We're back on the couch with comedian and ventriloquist Conrad Koch, and his time, it is time. And he's got his longtime political pundit and puppet pal Chester missing in tow with him now. Right now, we're going to be doing something fun. We're going to test out while they know each other as we play a game of who is the most likely to. Bum, bum, bum. And let's figure <laughs> out between the two of them dun, who's dun, going dun. to be ending up in what situation. Who's going to dum, dum, dum? <laughs> who's going to dum, dum, dum? <laughs> that sounds like soft adult stuff. Dun, dun, dun. dun, dun. <laughs> who's going to dum, dum, dum? Oh, yeah, dum, 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 Carl. <laughs> I can Carl, I want to dum, dum, dum. Uh, yes, me, me too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, Conrad, just after 10 years of this relationship, is there anything that still surprises you about Chester? No, I and mean, then he's asking me. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry, Chester, no, I was chatting to Conrad. I feel so ignored. No, 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 I just had to ask Conrad oh, something first. No, I don't know what to do. I just, do okay. Uh, no, nothing surprised me. Chester is wild. I mean, I had a great time with my fans. He already got there, dude, like wild. They're all over the place. It's great. I love that word. I <laughs> <laughs> like quite well, though, man. It's like the cousin word for dum dum dum. <laughs> oh, I'd like to call. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, now that you say that way, it sounds kind of sexy. Just it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Extra sexy. Just don't there. forget we are on live TV, all right? This is a family show. But listen, 10 years ago, you, you reckon you know each other pretty well? Uh, what, what His hand is in my, you know. <laughs> In my <laughs> in my bum bum bum. So we'll take that as a yes then, all right? Yeah, okay. I know him well. I'm in his head, okay, bro. Yes, that, okay, well. Like literally. We have to put it, <laughs> you know, you have to put it to the test now. We have I think to. so, yeah. Okay, let's do, do that. that. Yeah, I can let's... read his mind. <laughs> all right, well, well let's see. We've got okay, some go, questions go for, the first for one. you. All right, so uh, in, in certain such a noise, we're going to ask you who's most, most likely to whatever the following is. So let me, let me kick it first. Uh, between the two of you, who is most likely to choke or freeze on stage? Uh, him. <laughs> if he freezes, I three. If he walks off stage, I'm silent. I can't choke. I literally have a hand in my throat. <laughs> okay. ah, Fair enough. Ah, ah, ah. 
Um, <laughs> I was actually going to ask you, Chester, do you mind not talking over Conrad? Thank it's, you, Carl. Yeah. The ventriloquist yes, joke. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> so next one. He's who making is, me talk, Carl. So, uh, exactly. Who, you know. <laughs> who is most likely to write a best-selling book? Uh, hit, because my arms do that. That's that's my arm. Look there, there. I look like a well hung guy going for a job. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Look there. I got a slap. There. Just look at my arm. Look there. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a slap hand. That's yeah. a slap hand. <laughs> Who's your daddy, Carl? Huh? I'm your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It would work. my friend. I don't care. I think you pretty much. I think you pretty much answered this one. But who's the most likely to get arrested? Uh, no, you can't <laughs> arrest a puppet. But, well, with those slap arms. If I toss off Becky Taylor, he's the one who goes to jail. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Becky, your hat looks silly. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Shots fired. Yeah. Okay. Here's a big one. Since we're mm. going political now, okay. mm. who is the most likely to become president? Of the both of us, me, I'm a puppet. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I see what he did there. Uh, well played. My show well played. Is called well played. Uh, exactly. It's well literally <laughs> called Rana Tatat. Very well played. <laughs> Yo, is this his first day? No, this is what he does. Leave me. <laughs> 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 All right, we're back. we're back on it. He's also is on radio. It's his haircut. No, leave me. He's got a cool haircut. Yeah, Thank he you. does. That's true. <laughs> it looks like the wind in seat pointed that to you. <laughs> Sorry, Carl. Ask the next one. Sorry, Carl. I can't it's even like, offend you here. Back at me. I can't beat up a puppet for you. No, it's, 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 it's OK. <laughs> All right, so, guys, between the two of you, oh, who yeah. is most likely to that take a... That watch is bigger than you are, Carl. <laughs> it, it actually... It's, it's a clock. Your head. It's a clock. Yeah. It's a clock, yeah. <laughs> All right, Conrad, Chester, you guys need to listen up. No funny business. Who is yeah. the most likely to take a shuttle to space with a billionaire? Oh, Elon, I'll go to space if I can go into that one that looks like a, you know, that one that looks like a, you know, like a... That guy th the guy from Amazon, Jeff Bezos. Do you oh, see yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. He looks like he got it at a sex shop. That thing, you know, that one that looks like a huge, you know, Kadeha. <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> my. Okay, who is the most likely to win a Nobel Prize? Of the both of us. Well, we got a prize from Ahmed Katrada for fighting racism, so weirdly they'll give us both a prize. Because, you know, he made me human, but I got more personality. Mm, not just Ain't a pretty not. puppet then, eh? No, okay. well, pretty's a strong word. I look like uh, Nathaniel's second cousin <laughs> who lived in a cave. I actually found out the why he looks so familiar. I know. And when Who's I smile... <laughs> <laughs> there it is! Nailed it! <laughs> I look like Helen Zilla having a poo. No. <laughs> Come see our show, guys. Come see our show. Remember, it's a theater in the bay next week and Joburg the week after, and you book a compute ticket. Rana Tatat, Carl Reisley. Yes. Rana, Rana, Rana Papa. Tatat. Rana, Rana Papa. Please Rana go check it out. Support the arts. You know, it's yeah. been a tough time for all of us, so please go and support Art is a strong Rana word. Papa. Art is a strong word. That... He's got an artistic cop. Please go watch him.